I'm going to be teaching you how to take a proper body measurement. And please note that I said I'm going to be teaching you in CM. So all the measurements I'm going to be taking today on my student's body is going to be in CM. So and the first thing we are going to be doing is um, I'm going to place this rope. If you have a tiny cord, you can also use it. So I'm going to be placing this rope all over our waist circumference. So it's just for me to get an actual waistline. So that's the reason why we are using this, this rope. So, and the first thing is I will tell her to bend her waist to the side. And please note, while she's bending her waist to the side, my hand is in between that line. So same thing here too. She's going to bend the other waist to the side. So after bending it, I've gotten where her waist is. So can you bend again? Let them see. So have you seen that our folded body at the waistline, my hand is in between it and that is where the rope is. And same thing to the other side too. Do you understand? So then you will tie. So you don't have to tie very, very tight, but tie in a way that tip of your hand is still going to be inside the tape measure. So, please don't mind me. You can actually use a tiny cord, like I said. So, just note that tip of your hand has to enter. So, the first measurement I'm going to be taking now is a bus circumference. So, and don't forget I said I'm going to be using cm, not inches. So, I'm placing the tape measure all over. I'm placing the tape measure all over a bus circumference and what i'm going to be doing now is can you turn back turn back please why i place the tape measure all over a bus circumference i'm going to raise this to her back line the tape measure has to be straight on her back line it doesn't have to come down like this or it doesn't have to come up too much it has to stay on the back line do you understand so after staying on the back line like this you can turn back turn to the front so then the next thing is i will start moving my tape measure i'll start moving it up i'll move it down and please it doesn't have to be too loose just make sure it is very very okay and comfortable for your client do you understand you don't you don't have to take a a tight measurement starts to be a bit loose at least tip of your hand has to be inside so so you move up you drag up then you drag down you drag up you drag down so here i have 89.5 in c here that is what i have for our bus circumference so and the next thing we'll be moving to is the waist circumference so hope you didn't forget that i've already projected where her waistline is so all i have to do is just to place my tape measure all around the waist so after placing the tape measure all around the waist and sorry please permit me that i'm using this thick rope you can just get a tiny cord like i said so the next thing is make sure it is a bit firm and the next thing you will tell maybe is your clients you are measuring you tell the person to release her body can you release your body can you release your body so while she was releasing her body the tape keep expanding do you understand so while she was um, in, in releasing her body so and part of it you know i said you don't have to make your measurement to be too tight so can you see that tip of my hand is still inside it tape measure so and i have here with me 75 i mean 73 cm because that is where the um that is where the tape measure is ending i have 73 cm so the next thing i'm going to be measuring now is our upper bus circumference and this is how we are going to take it you tell your client to raise her hand then you take the measurement from the upper bust and don't forget to make sure your tape measure is straight at the back like i said the other time so you can release your hand so and make sure it is a little bit firm not too tight so 
and you ask your clients or whosoever you are taking the measurements from that is is the person comfortable so are you comfortable with this so since she said she's comfortable i have 8c 3c here and tip of my hand is still inside for ease do you understand so and the next measurement i'm going to be taking is a abdomen and abdomen measurement is taking um at the lower part of your tummy do you understand so and we are taking the measurements at the lower part of the tummy so the reason why we take this abdomen measurements is not really compulsory but it is meant for people that are pregnant so you know the the abdomen part is going to is going to come out so and you need it while you are shaping their clothes in case but it's not really needed for people that are not pregnant but you can just take the measurements in case of anything so the abdomen measurement is taken like this then you will move it up and also move down and please note always take note that tip of your hand has to be inside the tape measure and for lower abdomen i have 82 cm 82 cm so the next measurement i'm going to be working with is going to be her hip circumference so and please always take note that while you are taking the hip circumference while you are taking the hip circumference the shooted part of a bomb bomb that's where you are going to place the tape room have you seen that i'm placing the tape room on the shooter part of a bomb bomb so once you place the tape room there then don't forget that you have to drag up then also drag down it is very very important you have to drag up so while you are dragging down the tape measure keep expanding so you keep dragging drag up again then drag down so I have here I have here I want to confirm again so while dragging down it keep expanding so I want to also drag up again so I have here and tip of my hand is still inside so I have here 108 cm so can you see 108 in cm so the next measurement i'm going to be taking is going to be the hip depth and hip depth measurement is taken from the waist don't forget that this is where our waist is so i'm placing it under my rope line and i'll place it all through all through where the shooter part of our um bomb bomb is coming out and the shooter part of a bomb bomb, you can just use your inner eyes to assume where the shooter part is. So, and for me, for the shooter part of a bomb bomb, I'm I'm seeing 26 in CM. So, our uh, hip depth is 26 in CM. So, the next measurement is the bust pan, and that bust pan is also called nipple to nipple measurement. So, and for the nipple to nipple measurement, so you can also ask your client to tell you where their nipple to nipple measurement is or if you don't want to ask them you can just assume where the shooter part of the bra is sighting like where you are seeing the shooter part so you can just place your tape measure on that part and the other side and you can also ask them again that where's that where's their nipple where's your nipple am i getting it okay how about this part okay this part right mm -hmm. this part so here i have 18 cm so and the next measurement is going to be the bust point and bust point is from your neck point which is this starting point of the shoulder to where a nipple is so and you know i said that you can assume that the shooter part of the person's bra can be where the person's nipple is staying or you can ask the person that please where's your nipple so am i getting it is this where your nipple is okay so i have 26 cm for a nipple uh, for a bust point so the next thing we'll be taking is 
the underboss point the underboss point and this is how we take the underboss point so you place your tape measure all across an underboss and please it doesn't have to it doesn't have to be too tight and even if it's too tight you tell your clients or whosoever you are taking the measurement for to release her body can you release your body have you seen that while she's releasing her body the tape measure keep increasing so are you comfortable and if you can see tip of my hand is still inside for ease and always remember to make sure the tape measure is straight at the back so are you comfortable like this mm. so i have 75 in cm can you see so the next measurement i'm going to be taking is a front waist length and this is how front waist length is being taken you place the tape measure from the neck point like i said and you place it across the bust the bust area then up to the rope part do you understand so up to that rope part is going to be our what our front waist length because that is where the line is and some other people call it half length are you are you with me so some other people call it half length if it's half length you can just place it from the neck point and place it across the bust area it doesn't have to be like this it has to be across the bust area then you project it on the rope part and this is where my rope is ending which is 40.5 in cm so our front waist length is 40.5 in cm so mm -hmm. the, so the next measurement is the under bust point so and it's going to be taken like this from the neck point as usual you place across then you project it where the high bra the iron bra of the client so whosoever you are taking the measurement for you place it where it is ending so whatever you have from there is going to be the person's on that bus point and what i have here is 30 32 cm because that is where the iron bra is staying so the next measurement is going to be the back waist length and back waist length measurements is taken like this can you see this bone at at a neck point so you place the measurement the tape measure on the neck bone then you place all all through to where your tape your um your rope is ending so and that is where her back waist length is and for for her her back waist length is 39.5 in cm because that is where the rope is ending so the next measurement is called across chest and across chest is taken like this you place your tape measure like this and you place it across our chest so this is where this is can you raise your hand a bit so this is where our starting point of our arm is and this is also where the other starting point of the arm is so you place the tape measure at those two parts and what i have here with me is 35 in cm so the same measurement you are going to take for the back two and that measurement is called across back so across back is also taken like that can you raise your hand a bit so have you seen that this is the starting point of our um, armpit and also at the other side too so and what i have here with me is 38 in cm this is where the arm, um, the armpit is joining the body, and also here too. So, and I have 38 in CM. So the next measurement is called shoulder width. Shoulder width is taken from the neck point. This is the neck point. You place your tape measure there, and you place it. Can you can you raise your arm? Can you do like this? So once you place the tape measure at the neck point and you place to where the arm is joining the shoulder when this arm this arm is joining the shoulder and what i have here with me is is 12 cm so if you if you are if you are a bit confused to get the measurements you can actually tell your client to raise a arm like this so then you place your tape measure 
to that part and you can tell the person to release her arm back can you release your arm release it so can you see that we've gotten the shoulder measurement which is the shoulder width 12 cm so the next measurement is called the full length so depending on your design depending depending on your design so you can just depending on whichever design you want so if your design is actually a full length if it's a full length you just place your tape measure across always remember it has to be across your bust area then you take it down so whatever you have is going to be the full length and it can also be a, a flowing dress so if it's a flowing dress that means it's going to be longer than that so you, you are going to add extra extra inches to whatever you are doing or extra seam to whatever you are doing so the next measurements we are going to be taking now is the knee knee length so and for the knee length you also place your tape measure like i said on the neck point and you place it across the bust area then up to a knee up to a knee so whatever you have is going to be the knee length so always remember you use your inner highs to get where her knee area is then that's that's the knee length so for the skirt length measurement you also place if you, if you are working with a design that is going to be a skirt a skirt design so you also place your tape measure from that waistline the rope part to to your desired design if it's a short skirt you are going to place your tape rule maybe it's going to end on the knee line so you place your tape rule to get what you have so if i'm to sew for her now and i want the skirt to reach the knee line so that means i'm going to be working with 60 cm for a short skirt and if it's going to be a long skirt whatever i have is going to be the measurement so the next measurement i'm going to be working with is the corset length so because we'll be needing it for our online class so and this is how we are going to be taking the measurements from a neck point like i said you place your tape measure across the bust area then you take it down so it doesn't have to reach for me um this is how i take my corset length measurement I will maintain where the abdomen is ending. So that is the lower part of her tummy. So I will tell her to project where her abdomen is. Am I right? Is this where your lower part of your tummy is? Okay. This line, right? So. Am I right? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? So, like she said, so I have 56 in cm to be her corset length so then the next measurement i'm going to be taking is the arm side please can you put your hand on your waist so and this is how to take the arm side measurement you place your tape measure across her hand pits so most people don't take this measurement but i like taking it because i need to confirm my oh uh, my the arm side of my clients to my pattern so there's not going to be a difficulty on a sleeve maybe if the sleeve is too tight or something so that's the reason why i take the arm side measurements so for her i took the arm side measurements and i'll make sure it's very very it's not too loose but at least it's okay so that there's going to be a room for her to be able to lift her arm or something so that's the reason why i take arm side measurements and what i have here is 43 cm and at least tip of my hand is still inside so the next measurement i'm going to be taking now is the sleeve measurement so can you put your hand on your waist so when you want to take a sleeve measurement you tell your client or whosoever you are taking measurement for to put to put our hand on our waist so the first thing you are going to be taking is the length of arm so and how to take length of arm is going to be from the from the sp and the sp is called the shoulder point this is where our shoulder our arm is joining the shoulder so from this shoulder point you place the tape measure across you you 
place the tape measure across then you place it across this uh, elbow elbow line elbow points then you take it down to our uh, to our uh, wrist so whatever you have is going to be the length of arm so and i have here with me 66 in cm that is what i have in cm so and same thing is going to be the elbow length too i'm going to place the tape room measurement same thing at this my um shoulder point then i will place across the elbow length so whatever i have is going to be the elbow length and here i have here with me 37 in cm so for um her elbow circumference also i'm going to be taking the measurements like this also so i'll place the tape measure across her elbow then i'll make sure i move up a bit and i drag down a bit so that there's going to be a room for movement even if the cloth is, is is too tight there's going to be a room for movement so don't forget that tip of your hand has to be inside so which is what i have 30 so i have 32 in cm for our elbow circumference so and the next measurement i'm going to be taking now is our wrists so for the wrist measurements for the wrist measurements instead of me taking the measurements across this part instead of me taking the measurements on our main wrist i'll take the measurements here and please ask me why i'm taking the measurement there because this part is very small and why this part is wide i know why you wear anytime you want to wear your sleeve you have to wear from this part so it is better you take your measurements from this part than you taking it from the main wrist so and to take that part you tell your client to do her hand like this can you do your hand like this so then you take the wrist measurement and make sure it is very firm because you know this part is small and you don't want your clothes to to be too loose too loose only if you are working with a tool net or a fabric that expands so that is when you can take the measurements here so even if you are wearing it it won't it won't give you issue but if you are working with a fabric that doesn't stretch so it is advisable for you to take the measurement from this part so and what i have here after making the measurement very firm i have 21 cm so that's all oh sorry and the last measurements but not the least is the top arm and this is how to take and this is how to take the top arm measurements so the the widest part of the arm is called the top arm so under top arm this is how you are going to take it you take all the way up then you also drag down and please always note always take note that your hand has to be inside and mostly you know all this part is very 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 compulsory for you to take so you have to take the measurements across like this and take take it down there should be a little bit of room for the measurements so that you won't have your sleeve to be too tight so that's the reason why we take all this measurement and for our top arm i have 35 cm can you see that i can move the tape measure up and i can i can also move it down so thank you guys bye oh, it's very long.